Oh, it's exciting. And then yeah. after that phase comes the favorite phase. Well, that's stage four. First, you get which one? Which phase is that? No, no, I'm just going to wait till you say it. It's well, the peduncle elongation that's is the one exactly you're referring what I'm to. Talking right. about. Exactly. Hey guys, I want to tell you we got a brand new uh, warning. We said that we could potentially have an right, isolated right. warning or two. Mm -hmm. So here's what it's looking like. It's a severe thunderstorm warning, uh, and this is what it looks like from our camera at Dulles. We're looking off to the west, and oh, that's, that's where we have yeah those darker clouds as this is moving through. It's the storm that you see there that has passed through Winchester. It's until 6:45. Gusts of wind up to 60 miles per hour. So Berryville, you're in that warning. Northern parts of Loudoun County, southern parts of Jefferson County. So Percival, here right along uh, Route 7, you're going to be in this warning. 60 mile per hour winds are going to be possible with this storm here. And that's what we're going to be tracking very closely. Charlestown raining very heavily right now. You have the strong winds that are draping on down. And I put some timing on it for you as it's racing along at about 50 miles per hour. So Percival, you guys got about 10 minutes or so. I know you're getting some rain right now, but the strongest part of the storm is about 10 minutes. Minutes away, Petersville. That's by 6:32, and then uh, Furnace Mountain. That's at 6:39. It is the lone warning, and it's not a very thick storm. It's not very tall. It's not one of these big supercell storms. It's only up at about 10 to 15,000 feet, but it's packing a punch because it's racing along so quickly. And I often use the analogy: the storms are moving at 40 to 50 miles per hour. The same way, if you were moving in your car at 40 or 50, and you just lob something out the window, well, it's going to automatically kind of have that forward momentum and so that gives it that extra energy and then out ahead of it there's a line of some heavier rain that's now moving into uh, sections here pushing closer to Manassas and central parts of Loudoun County Prince William County and you can see over the last 30 minutes that's all this loop is moving at about 50 miles per hour so when I track the overall storm not the severe thunderstorm warning just the overall line of showers it still puts it here around the DC Metro say 651 specifically on this particular map. Uh, Gaithersburg, this would be right around 636. You got Ellicott City at 7 o'clock. Uh, Waldorf, Charles County, that would be closer to 708. We're really looking at the time frame between now and roughly 7.30 or 8 o'clock. So this is not an all-night event. This is over the next hour or two event as this is our threat area right here that we're keeping a close eye on. So that's the what we're going to be tracking right now. We have the showers and thunderstorms the next hour or two. Then they taper off overnight. No worries while you're sleeping. It's clearing throughout the evening hours. It's going to be a chilly start to the morning, but a mostly sunny and breezy day tomorrow. So looking ahead, we have that, that risk that we have over the next hour or two. Stormwatch 7 weather app, if you may have tuned in because your Stormwatch weather app told you that you had that severe thunderstorm warning out. Nothing tomorrow to worry about. Thursday, 55, we're dry, but Friday we have uh, a few showers and the winds will pick up. Sustained probably 15 to 25. We'll be tracking that. But once again, any warnings or watches or issue, we're going to let you know about it. Send it on over to you. And now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. All right, everything is building towards March 26th. That's the Nats season opener in New York against the Mets. And one of the most important things about spring training, staying healthy. Today, the Nats receiving a little scare in their game against the Orioles. Adam Eaton pulls from the game after tweaking his left hamstring. The injury is not expected to be serious. If you want serious, just watch Juan Soto. The young slugger going the other way, doubles off the wall, Two runs score, three to one Nats. But the play of the game right here. Panzer Alberto with the drive to center. Watch Michael A. Taylor track this baseball down. Taylor catches it and crashes into the wall. Early season web gem from Taylor. The Nats beat the Orioles five to three. No one ever said winning a Big Ten basketball title would be easy. Maryland will have their hands full tonight at the rack. A day. Try to out tough you. If you want to be good, you got to be able to take people's best shot. So we definitely embrace it. 
And the Wizards finished their West Coast road trip tonight in Sacramento. Washington currently four games back of the eighth and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. And guys, what can you say about Bradley Beal? Mm -hmm. He has scored at least 25 points in 18 straight games. He has the whole team on his back. Unbelievable. Essentially. To, say, to say the least, Bradley Beal is pretty good at basketball. If only they had a couple other guys to go with them. Yeah. That would be nice.